Hello everyone and welcome, it's Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Harbor Grill Expert, and we're hanging out here today in Winter Park, Colorado, uh, for today's edition of Ace This Recipe, and we're inside the trailer because, as luck would have it, outside the trailer, rain, right? We drove to a beautiful location to shoot a gorgeous video, and we're stuck with a little bit of rain, but that's all right, thankfully we have this beauty to cook in today for today's edition of Ace This Recipe, and we're talking all about chicken breast today. One of the questions you asked was, how do I get a beautiful sear and juicy, delicious chicken on my Traeger? Today, we're cooking on the Traeger Pro 780. We're going to show you how to uh, make all this chicken into some beautiful medallions that are going to cook hot and fast and get a beautiful, delicious sear on our Traeger. So without further ado, let's get cooking. Uh, and we're going to head out here and get that grill lit. We got a little bit of prep to do. Then it's time to get cooking. Hey, don't forget from time to time, that little eye is going to pop up up top that's our information station click on that that'll let you into the world of gear gadgets and grills show you everything we are cooking with today so thanks for joining us it's rock and roll all right let's talk a little bit about what we're cooking with today kind of give you that food flyover started off with some beautiful all natural chicken breast so when we read the package we made sure that it said or didn't say uh contain solution injection brine um broth we wanted a chicken breast that was all natural, just some naturally retained water, really allowing us to control the flavor from package to the plate. So we've got some beautiful boneless, skinless chicken breast for you there. We're gonna use our cluck rub, really give it a nice balsamic chicken uh, finish to it. A Little bit of canola oil, uh, and that's pretty much it. I think today we're gonna go ahead and finish it with a little fire honey as well, just to make our chicken even more fantastic. So one of the things we get, one of the questions we get quite a bit is, how do I determine and get a chicken breast? Look at how thick that chicken breast is. That's a pretty thick piece of chicken. And everyone wants to know, how do we ensure that that cooks uh, well, right? We want it to be done. How do we get that done and not turn this bottom into jerky? So let me show you what we've got here. We're going to take all these chicken breasts out. Then we're going to take a boning knife. And look at this here. We're actually going to start and carve on an angle or on a bias a nice little medallion. Look at that. Then we're going to take the other part of the breast and make that into a medallion as, too, uh, as well. Check this out. Look at this. Now, all of a sudden, all three of those pieces of chicken are the same size, the same thickness, and they're going to cook just as fast. So we're going to do this to the other guy here. Uh, and the nice thing, too, these cook consistently. We get a beautiful, wonderful sear. Uh, and again, I'm just cutting out a bias. I'm using a nice boning knife uh, to do that. But... I've got that all set and ready to go. Now, let's go ahead here and get this board out of our way. All right, we'll set that kind of to the side. Okay, then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do just enough oil to coat. We don't want a lot. We're not looking to start a, a flare up or have a lot of oil left over, just enough to coat. And then again, as we always say with the rub, add as much or as little as you want. We've got some balsamic powder in here. Get this stuff mixed up and let it activate. And that's it. That's pretty simple and pretty easy. The beauty of adding this oil, right? Just a little bit of oil to the mix, really going to help protect this chicken uh, and do a fantastic job getting it uh, nice and juicy off the hot, hot Traeger today. So that's it. We're going to go ahead now and let this soak. And by soak, I mean, we're just going to let it marinate for a little bit. Uh, maybe 10 minutes or so, and then we will be grill ready. We're going to be working on the Traeger Pro 780 today. We've gone ahead and set this to uh, 450 degrees. We have it igniting. There you go. You know what? We're using our reserve blend pellets. I love those guys. That oak apple cherry is such a good all-around pellet. Uh, I find myself tending to use it quite a bit. Then, guess what? Like we always say, fresh foil. We don't want anything stuck to that foil that's going to burn or smoke. And since we're cooking at a higher temperature, we really want to make sure we start off with fresh foil. So that's it. We let these guys marinate for about 15 minutes, like I said. And now what I'm going to do before we go on the Traeger is I want to go on the smooth side, right? You can see kind of the smooth side where the skin came off. That's where I want to go first. So now, guess what? Hottest part of the Traeger is going to be right in the middle. We're going to set these guys down there on that middle. Listen, nice sear, right? That's exactly what I'm talking about. So we want to go fast, right? We don't want to uh, let too much temperature get off our Traeger here or lose too much temperature, but get those guys on there. And now we're going to shut it and we will be good to go. So we're getting a beautiful sear. We're getting all the heat right out of the center of that Traeger. Time to close it and let it go. Visual cue. One of the things I'm going to look for when it's time to flip, 
I'm gonna look for a little bit of white around the edges. That's a sign that that white protein in there is cooking and the chicken is ready to be flipped. So we're gonna look for a little bit of white, then we'll know we're close to time to flip. Uh, let's say probably won't look at this for another six to eight minutes. See that beautiful white color? That's what happens when we just leave it alone and give it a chance to sear. Now flip it like we did all of them and we're gonna leave it alone. We'll shut the grill, probably looking at another four to five minutes and this chicken will be done. The secret on here, hot, fast, small, even cooking medallion pieces, uh, and we are good to go. When it comes time to check temperature on this chicken, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold the chicken up and re really go right down the middle of the thickest part to kind of get our reading. And that's where we're at, 150 degrees, 152 degrees, 154. We'll take that out. Our goal is 165 degrees. That's when we wanna pull the chicken. That's how we know it is fully cooked. So we're gonna leave it alone, let it finish off, and then we'll see you in the trailer when it's time to plate up our final dish. Well, there you have it. Look at that. Let's zoom in just a little bit. That is fast and beautifully grilled chicken. The joy of it, we're adding a lot of wood-fired flavor to this coming off of our Traeger. And I'll tell you what, it smells fantastic and tastes fantastic, but the best part is, look at this. Look at how juicy that chicken is. Do you get chicken that juicy all the time? Well, I'll tell you what, now you can on your Traeger and it's super, super easy to do. So let's go ahead and finish this with a little bit of fire honey just to take it to the next level. And then I'll get ready here to do my uh, quality control here in just a minute. But I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grill Expert. Thanks so much for joining us today for today's edition of Ace This Recipe. Fast and easy, but totally juicy and delicious chicken on our Traeger Pro 780 today. Hey, don't forget up top, that little eye. That's our information station. That's where you can head up and find all the information on everything we use today, from the grill to the pellets to the thermometer to the rubs and more. And then uh, grab today's recipe, head down below the uh, image of the video, click on that little arrow to expand that section. You can download this recipe, really click print and follow along as well. And while you're down there, don't forget, leave us a comment. Tell us what you'd like to hear. You know we're comment driven and you know a lot of our comments really circle back to creating the content that you want to see because this channel is all about you making sure we turn you into total rock stars in the backyard barbecue circuit. And then don't forget it's time to subscribe. So click on that notification bell. Tell everyone, hey, listen, when you're on the back deck barbecuing up a storm and your neighbors are wondering where you got these skills, tell them the Ace Hardware YouTube channel. They can find all these recipes, hey, and a whole lot more. A lot of helpful tips for you as well from our friend Lou too. So get over there, get, uh, subscribe to that channel, and join us for a little bit of fun. So that's it. I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grill Expert. I have to uh, take it for the team and quality control this beauty, but I'll tell you, look at the juice coming off that. That is, oh man, I'm telling you what, total magic. See you next time.